Hello and welcome to Fuse Logic TV. I'm Walter Schwabe and I'm today, you know, we're really excited because we're, we're having a special program this afternoon here on this very blustery, windy Friday afternoon in the Edmonton area. Uh, to really give again back to the community, we're going to talk to a couple of great Edmontonians. I'm sitting and joined in studio here with Cam Rutten, who is the regional director for Bob Clubs in Edmonton. Hello, Cam. How are you doing? Good yourself. Good. Thank you for coming in. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, first off, what is Bob Clubs? How long has it been around? And uh, why should people care? Well, those are some good questions. Bob Clubs Business Over Breakfast started in the UK about 11 years ago. Uh, got a great foundation uh, and moved into Canada. And what Bob Clubs is, is a business of business networking group. Uh, exclusive seating, people get together, share ideas. I've really tried to change the perception of a business, a business group of just sort of buying referrals from each other. It's about creating some collaboration and working together. So the object is I'm going to sit down with you. We're going to create a great relationship. I'm going to teach you what a great referral is for me, how to go out and help me find some business, but more about opening some doors. So you're going to, I'm going to you know, you're going to say, Cam, this is, you know, I know somebody that Cam needs to talk to you and, and we talk together and I'm comfortable to stand on my feet and in front of them and make that sale and that I can do it. So it's about just, opening your network, some warm leads, um, looking to grow your business through quality people instead of just you know, getting 100 people at once to make, make some calls and uh you know, it, that referred business is the best kind of business. So. Well, you know, there are other networks. I mean, there's all sorts of networking groups out there, right? I mean, it, there's self-organized groups. There's, uh, you know, there's groups where you have to pay, uh, uh, you know, to, and, and then you're forced, you know, sort of by the, the, the program to bring a lead every meeting or something for somebody or something like that. And, uh, you know, I find that it puts undue pressure on a person to do things that, uh, you know, aren't maybe necessarily naturally there. It doesn't come up in natural business. I have to, I have to force the issue just right. to keep up with a, a, a manufactured number, if you will. And it sounds like to me that Bob Club is a much more relaxed sort of situation, uh, still an emphasis on building strong business relationships, but, um, but, but doesn't have that sort of manufactured requirement. Is that right? That's exactly right. I'd rather you said to me four times a year, Cam, here's Walter's number. I've told him all about you. He's expecting your call rather than 26. This guy might want to talk to you. And so those soft leads are versus warm leads, but it's, it's about the idea that we're just going to grow that network together and find out some relationships. And it sounds kind of out there, touchy-feely, but it's not. It's about you know being business, looking for great business. Some of the people who are getting the most out of the groups are already successful and they just want great referrals. They've become a center of influence and everybody, we all know those people, you know, hey Cam, do you know somebody that can do this? And um, yeah, I do, but it's that opportunity. So we're looking for great referrals because somebody's asking me for a, a printer. Well, I know a great printer, but it's just opening those doors. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest kind of foundation of what we're doing is if you think about a plumber now, would you, you know, would you, First, go to a phone book and open and look for a plumber. Would you go on Facebook and say, does anybody know a plumber? I mean, that's referred business right there. And then you have the opportunity to meet those people and decide. But it, it is about, about working together and growing some networks and, and collaboration. Well, very much a peer-to-peer -peer influence kind of thing, right? Um, so tell us about the typical member. Like, what is this club really designed? There, there are... There are executive level clubs only, you know, kind of invite only clubs out there. Uh, what's the typical member profile for you guys? Uh, the typical member profile is somebody who's successful in business or wants to be successful in business, has an idea of they're open to learning. Um, we, what we do specifically that's different than is we help promote everybody's online components, their business, their websites. You spent money, you spent time on your website and social media. Let's kind of work together to grow that. So you can imagine if there's, you know, 90 people promoting your, your website, promoting your business, or just helping you get the word out. Multiply that, you know, by every Bob Club member, and you know, we've seen the effects of Twitter and social media how that affect business. It sounds like to me like this is a sort of a a self uh, a self organized in a way, I guess, um, form of a tribe. A micro tribe, if you will, it's kind of a term I like to refer to pretty often, and that's that's group of people coming together for a common cause or reason or a purpose, right. and and um, you know it seems like 
sounds like to me, the spirit of this is really aligned. Like people who join it are already aligned with those fundamentals. Right. Um, they value those things more than sort of, as we said before, the manufactured numbers, the, you know, the things that sort of get in the way of building strong relationships. Um, so uh, does it have the same, like in terms of the appeal across the city of Edmonton and, and sort of beyond, how far does this uh, Bob Club phenomenon reach? Uh, geographically? Yeah. Well, right now our core is in Edmonton and Western Canada. We're launching to Vancouver, through the rest of Alberta, into the U.S. There's a gentleman, my counterpart in Eastern Canada, that's doing that uh, out there. So it's it's pretty broad. But the fact that we can you know meet once every two weeks, we meet every two weeks, and then connect electronically, kind of shrinks those borders quite a bit. And and then we've got a large base of U.K., New Zealand, Australia. And now that really there's no borders when you're doing business. We've, uh, we give you the opportunity to really grow your network, you know, exponentially at that point. So, a um, so couple of quick questions. Uh, then, how frequently do you meet? Okay, every each club meets every two weeks, and there's okay. a number of different clubs. So, it would uh, your calendar would go into a bit of a seizure if I tried explaining it all to you. But <laughs> you pick a day and then you meet, and then two weeks later you meet there. But uh, yeah, right. there's clubs all all day. So every couple of weeks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, you have a special event coming up next week and of course it's the sort of the primary reason uh, that we're getting here together today we have another guest that will be on the show here shortly um, tell us a little bit about this new this new type of luncheon that you're putting on next week that's a great question so what happened with the Bob Clubs is we always met with small to medium-sized businesses and larger businesses but typically uh, a small business and there's lots of companies that make millions of dollars in small businesses, but they don't have a lot of time to donate and don't have a lot of, they don't want to just write a check and let it, watch it walk out the door. Come in, I've always wanted to involve charities and everything I've, I've uh, done in different groups. So the Philanthropy Lunch Club is who we're kind of calling ourselves. It's a group, we get together once a month, listen to a different charity, talk about their cause, hopefully open some doors beyond just fundraising. I know a lot of charities, they'd all like the funds, but a lot of times they'd like they want some support and just some, you know, talk to some new people and maybe right. they need some volunteers. Awareness and yeah, right. Yeah. It's it's about that. So, and what we've done, we've collaborated with a few charities. Um, this is our third lunch. It'll be on Tuesday, December sixth, and with the YWCA, who we worked with before. So it's a nice, comfortable fit. And you know, again, they're open to to helping raise some funds, but more so awareness. Um, and we've chosen them for a couple reasons. A lot of the work they do stays here in Edmonton. Um, you know, they're great. We're lending them our brand and vice versa, so we have a, a kind of a good partnership that way. So, And so in, in terms of this event, the luncheon and so on, uh, you know, obviously raising awareness, having the, the members. Uh, how many people do you expect or would you like to have come out to Tuesday on December 6th? Where is it, where is it being held? It's at the Fantasyland Hotel, okay. one of the ballrooms. Um, we'd love to have 100, 120 people at the event. Well on our way there, but we've always got room, I guess, Trying to find seats for more people than you expect is a good problem to have when you're trying to raise some funds and awareness. So right. We've got a great lunch, great venue, uh, a great speaker who's going to talk about the Rose Campaign and uh, the YWCA in Edmonton and what they're doing. So. Okay. Now, let's direct people to your website and take a quick look at that. And uh, so, you, you, of course, you've also got a Twitter account. And we, we, we've tweeted at, uh, out here this morning and this afternoon. Uh, but Bob Edmonton, at Bob Edmonton, is the Twitter account. And if you want to find out more about uh, CAM's organization, it's bobclubs.com slash club slash Edmonton. And uh, it's on the screen now, as you can see. And what I enjoyed about this is that uh, each member gets a profile, um, and of course, uh, you know there are a myriad of uh, bits of information per member. Uh, but uh, Cam, you were saying that uh, it actually gets quite good search engine optimization results as well. It, it's it's a huge tool for a lot of people to use to again amplify what they're doing. We get each club gets its own uh, optimization. There is a one other place, and most people's own websites don't have a place where they've got your photo, your company, your contact information, a business description, uh, which you can embed videos, not just the links, but actually get them to play, testimonials, all your badges for your social media. So I think I'm an average guy. I get somebody's business card, and oh, I go check out their LinkedIn, check out their Twitter, check mm -hmm. out. This is one page you can direct them to. So And it it really kind of ranks, for most people, higher than their own website because it's, 
it's so widely used worldwide. Well, that's fantastic. So, Cam, thank you so much for being on the show. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in, we're talking with Cam Rutten, who's the regional director for Bob Clubs, uh, and he's based here in Edmonton. Uh, we've been talking about not only his organization, but also uh, an upcoming event on December 6th. That's next Tuesday at the Fantasyland Hotel, and it's all about philanthropy. And we're leading right into now our next guest. We're going to have somebody from the w, uh, YWCA come in and talk to us about the Rose Campaign. But in between that, we're going to play a short video while we exchange guests in our, in our seat here in studio. And we're going to be right back, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Fuse Logic TV, and now I'm joined in studio with Lisa Evangelos, who's with the YWCA here in Edmonton. Hello, Lisa. Hi, thank you for having me today. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for coming out. So now we're here to talk about the work that you're doing with Bob Clubs, but uh, but also, of course, this larger event and campaign that you have ongoing, which is called the Rose Campaign. Why don't you let our viewers in on what that's all about? Sure. Well, the Rose Campaign takes its name from the rose button that we're all wearing today. Right. Yes, that's right. As you right. can see right oh. here. Mm -hmm. and and uh, it's actually, the rose is a symbol that will um, commemorate what happened on December 6th in 1989. So at uh, Le Ecole Polytechnique in Montreal, 14 women were murdered um, and purposefully um, murdered by a gentleman there. And so we take December 6th as a day. Um, Parliament in 1991 declared it the National Day of Remembrance and Action Against Violence against women and so uh, the Rose campaign is just an opportunity to further promote ending violence against women and girls in Canada. Is this the first year that the YWCA has been a part of this program? No, uh, YWCA across Canada is involved in the Rose campaign every year but every year it gets a little bit bigger and so this year uh, it's a little bit bigger because we've been partnering with Bob Clubs and the Edmonton Philanthropy Club to have this luncheon at the Fantasyland Hotel and to invite people to come learn more about the Rose campaign. Right, okay, so uh, what can people expect next Tuesday? What, 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 sort of, what sort of things are on the agenda? Well, it starts at 11.30 and it goes till about 1 o'clock, so it's a, a nice sort of quick lunch that you can come to in the middle of your work day. Uh, there'll be a brief program by uh, Amanda Vella, our board president, talking about the Rose Campaign, showing the video that uh, you guys just showed on your show here, and uh, educating people on our violence prevention programs at the YWCA. Okay, and then obviously lunch, as well as that. Let's talk a little bit about that then. Let's go into the programs a bit. What, what is being offered there in terms of programs? Well, one of our main um, programs at the YWCA here in Edmonton is our counseling center, where the majority of our clients are women and their children who have experienced violence in the home. Uh, we also have a program out at our outdoor education center called Duocus on Wabaman Lake. And we have a partnership with Wings of Providence where a couple times a year they take women and their children out there for a retreat for a weekend to promote social, emotional, and um, psychological well-being between people who have experienced violence in the home. Right. And then we also have a couple programs at the YWCA called the Power of Being a Girl Conference where they promote young women um, to young girls, I think between the ages of 12 and 16 to come and uh, learn how to make better choices, um, to learn conflict resolution methods that can keep them out of violence. Uh, and then there's also the girl space programs in libraries um, where girls are invited to come and, and learn the same sort of methods and approaches to life. Okay, well that's, that's terrific. I mean, there was a lot of programs there. Uh, mm -hmm. In part, it's, it's terrific you have those and it's also sad that you need them. Yes. Right? Yes. You know, it's kind of like the food bank, right? Yes. Um, a great organization, but it's sad that we actually need one mm -hmm. in the first place. Um, so now you've got, uh, you've got obviously got uh, a digital profile out there. We've got your Twitter account, which is YWCA Edmonton. Yes. You're also using a hashtag, which is Rose Campaign on for Twitter. For this specific to, campaign, right, yes. Right, for this one. And so uh, what, how can people join the conversation? What do you want from them in terms of a, you know, a joining of the conversation? How can they support you in ways other than financial? 
Well, they can go onto Twitter. There is a Twibbon that we have set up on there. Um, it, you can go to the YWC Edmonton Twitter profile and you'll see it there. You can add the rose to your Twitter avatar and support that way. You can just post about the luncheon. You can post about some statistics in Edmonton that we have at our, our YWCA of Edmonton.org website about violence in Alberta, in Edmonton, in Canada, across the board. Uh, you can go on, on Facebook and you can promote it there. The rosecampaign.ca website actually has a lot of great tools for you to be able to send an e-rose to your MP or uh, just other information that you can start conversations with your friends, your family, your coworkers. That's one thing I think would be great is if um, some employers in town brought their female coworkers, their male coworkers, um, and employees out to this luncheon just to show them that they support the end of violence against yeah, women. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. It's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, of course, I'm sure it's going to be great eats there. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, lots of socializing, it being a Bob Club, uh, you know, event uh, to begin with. So uh, in terms of um, some of the difficulties, uh, you know, we've talked about raising awareness. We've mm -hmm. talked about the various ways that digitally people can help. Mm -hmm. But what are some of the other barriers to this situation, and, and, and is it, um, you know, that, that, say, the organization struggles with? Um, can you bring up any of those? Yeah, well, I think a sort of a common problem is that people are afraid just to talk about violence in the home. Um, people are ashamed of violence in their own home, or they're ashamed of situations that they've encountered. Uh, over 40% of women before they're 25 will have experienced violence, and usually they know their abuser. And so I myself am 28, and a lot of women in my community that I interact with have experienced violence, but it's a scary thing to talk about. Right. So I think a barrier just right there is people are afraid to talk about the violence they've experienced or to ask for help. So this is a great opportunity to break down those barriers and bring out the conversation and support in our community. Well, for, and for all sorts of reasons, right? I mean, I'm sure that the, the people are, you know, women are fearful of retribution. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe there's obviously there's lots of situations where there's there's legal proceedings and issues like that. Uh, you know criminal or otherwise and and so there's all sorts of uh, issues there mm -hmm. and I can imagine it's got to be incredibly stressful like just 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 amazingly stressful to go through um, for uh, for anyone and, and and let alone the family right mm -hmm. and so uh, there, there you did mention a couple of programs that were specifically designed for say girls of certain ages mm -hmm. and so on are, are there family programs like uh, so for example there, there uh, a, a woman has experienced violence in the home um, but uh, th th there is a there's a sort of a healing process of reconciliation and trying to fix it. I don't know if the problem can be fixed, but mm -hmm. is, there, is there any programs like that? We definitely support women and their families. So we're not just open to supporting women. I mean, there are men that are coming through our counseling center all the time and obviously bringing in their children. Um, the programs are obviously focused towards women because we are the Young Women's Christian Association, but I believe that our programs benefit the family and the children, the entire community in general. Right, right. it's kind of like the, the YMCA still appealing to women and, you know, that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, I expected that, so that's, yeah. that's good. Okay, so once again, um, let's, let's uh, provide you with the information of where to go so you can help out this, uh, this terrific organization and this terrific cause. Also, where you can go to, uh, to uh, come out to this luncheon next Tuesday, December 6th at the Fantasyland Hotel. Again, starting at 11.30? 11.30. Okay. And uh, so, Evan, if you can just flash up the, the websites and, and the information here. Here's the Rose Campaign website. Um, so more information there. And uh, certainly you can reach out to them on Twitter, Bob uh, Edmonton for Cam's account and uh, YWCA Edmonton for Lisa's account, and it may not be your account, obviously, personally, yeah. but, uh, but everybody gets what it. I yeah. mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So once again, Lisa, thank you so very much for you and, and of course, Cam, to come out here on FuseLogic TV and tell us all about the Rose Campaign. Good luck with the, the this year's campaign and the luncheon so next week. Um, please keep us up to date, and, and certainly, uh, you know, uh, we'll see you on Twitter uh, going forward. For sure. um, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to FuseLogic TV and uh, listening and, and watching and spending some time with us. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next week.